called Naevar Ann, a mother of Algawa Okwayenda from Uganda. Uh, I came to know Escorts Heart Institute with connection with the gift of life through Dr. Peter Wavi and a sweet lady called Grace Ogwar working with the gift of life. Yeah, at first, I took my son to Mlago Hospital. They told me that he has heart problems. He had closed valves and a hole in the heart. Oh, I said, God, now what is this? And they told me that with opening the valves, it cannot be done in Uganda. What you do, you can either take him in the UK or in India. So in in this year, in Feb, I had to take this boy in UK. They did an operation which was called ballooning, catheterization. We came back, the boy showed some improvement for some time, but within like three, four months, then the other symptoms he had at first came back. Oh, I said, now, what? What can I do? Because obviously I was visiting Mrago Hospital visiting Dr. Peter Rayo now and then, two weeks, three weeks, always. So he told me, oh my God, the boy, the operation was not successful. I said, God, now what can I do? Ah, then Dr. Peter Rayo said, don't get scared. You never know God will create a way for him. But I just went home. I just waited for his faith to come. But God restored him. Yeah, in, in, uh, in October, I received a call from Dr. Peter Ravi that you come, hurry, come in Kampala and you make a program for this boy. So when I came, he told me this program of gift of life. He gave me the contacts of a sweet dead called Grace. Sure, I call him a sweet dead. He gives, she gives comfort. And she was a victim before, she was helped. So, oh, my heart was really comforted. She told me oh, everything, we had to look for passports. Uh, we get ready, we came, reaching at the airport. We found there very people, they were very anxious to see those Ugandans. Oh, we are scared now, where are we going to start from? We didn't know where the direction they, of uh, these escorts. We could not even dress, but we just saw people having our names. Oh, Abugawa Kwaenda, Angela, Catherine. Oh, we smiled. So they said, you are welcome. They comforted us. They had to put us in a vehicle. Ah, then now we reached Escort's Heart Institute. Then, oh, it is marvelous. The way they welcomed us, surely. At that moment, we knew that our kids are going to be okay. They did a call. Doctors are running up and down just to restore these kids. So what I have experienced in escorts, it is unity, hard working, people are cooperative. I will have to take this message also in Uganda so that we can work like this. And at last I say, God bless escorts, God bless gift of life, let it go and go and go. They help more kids and many, many, many from other countries, not even Uganda. Thank you very much.